Welcome all together. This is just a different video here, a demo of a few things that I'm selling on my shop. So this one is for kind of the customers there. It's not I'm going to be testing out some of these Norse instruments and showing you how to play them and also take care of them. So this is just for the people uh, who have bought some of these products and you know want to know how to play them because some of them uh, are very difficult actually, and I don't want to have anyone coming back and complaining. So watch this video first before you buy anything. Thing. and if you're not interested just click away from the video and that's okay. So first we've got the reindeer skin drums, the 20 inch drums, testing it out here. Oh that sounds cool. That sounds like exactly like Northman plays, like that, that drum in the Northman movie. That sounds like exactly like that kind of eerie. Uh, so the way I've told my guys to make drums is I've made it like this basically I mean they will usually use the um, the rawhide to uh, lace up the drums like that but I had them use the uh, leather string because I feel like it just makes a better uh, resonance sound like that and it just echoes a bit more so that is the 16 inch one here is the 13 inch one. It's gonna be a little higher pitched, but just as powerful. And again, those are both reindeer skins. Then we have the goat hide drum. This is also from Norway, like the reindeer skins, but this one, the goat hide is tougher, but it can also be stretched um, tighter. So that's, that makes a little bit more of a high pitched sound on the smaller drum. This one is the 13 inch. This one's not like the reindeer hide would be a kick drum. And this one would be kind of like a, like a tapping one, like for cooler, uh, When we go to the 16 inch goat hide, this one actually sounds like deep and powerful, strangely enough. So that's more like a deep, bass type of drum. So those are both cool, the goat skin ones. And for taking care of these, um, the, really the warmer it gets, the better it gets. So you can rub it like this if it's a bit cool. And the warmer it gets, the more like flexible it's going to get. And it's also going to um, basically have a deeper, like more uh, rumbling sound. If it's cold, it's not going to sound very good at all. Um, but if you warm it up, but not too warm, of course, then it's going to sound perfect. And, and again, drums, change with time it's they're tight now because they've just been made but over the years they will get a bit looser and the sounds will get deeper um, but it's it's much better to do that because it loosens naturally with age it's better to do that than to lace it up too loose at the start and then it sounds powerful for the first few months but then it makes no sound at all after that because these are quite difficult to tie once they've dried then we've got some horns for you. Now these, these are going to be the most difficult ones to play. A lot of people uh, get very frustrated with these and I used to be one of them. Uh, but it's actually, this one is pretty easy. This is just a basic cattle horn. You play it the same way as you would a trumpet. You push your lips together and just do this. And you're going to have to play with it a lot because uh, different horns are going to have that perfect spot, you know, you're going to need to put your lips sometimes a bit higher up, sometimes a bit lower, you might have to give hard pressure, you might have to give soft pressure, but every single horn will work. Don't order one of these and say, oh, I can't play it, it doesn't make a sound. No, every single horn is able to make a sound, it just takes some skill and practice and you have to find that horn's uh, sweet spot. So we're trying out this one first. I suck. See that? And that sounds fine. It's a very good horn, easy to play. The next one, however, is going to be a bit more difficult. So these are the Bukkehorn, uh, and these are the horns made out of ram. 
not easy to play as you can see the hole there is very very small the way to play these it makes such a beautiful sound when you do it but it takes a, a hell of a lot of practice to get it right and but these you can play around with the sound so much more if you guys have heard Vardruna you can go ask Einod he is the expert on this I am not but I'm gonna try and get a good sound out of it for you guys here <laughs> you're gonna even have to like especially with this one even like slight movements like moving it like a millimeter to the right millimeter to the left that might make the difference where the actual nice sound comes out of it <laughs> sounding pretty good actually I got it down so that's all I have to say for today just a quick demo showing the products I will be making some videos about the uh, historical sources on this what the Norse sources say about drums what the Norse sources say about horns because both were very very important spiritual instruments even not just instruments for playing music but a strong part of the spirituality so I will be doing a video on that but that's all for today now these products are uh, very difficult to come by and I haven't got a lot of stock and there probably is not going to be a lot more until the fall so I expect they're going to sell out very quickly now but if they are good sellers I can order them in bulk but like I said it a life has to be given for this an animal has to give its life in order for us to have an instrument like this so it is very valuable and it's not just some cheap crappy instrument to to collect and and, and play around and, and not respect that much so these are very high quality things I am able to get a very good price for these actually because they're usually um, can be a lot more expensive but if I go direct to the supplier um, I can get these a uh, pretty good price like you will see them for on my shop but still, an animal has to die just to make one of these. Sometimes you can get two out of it. But as you can see, it is a very uh, special instrument and a very special tool that is not to be used lightly. So, hope you enjoyed this little demo. That's all I have to say for today. Be safe.